So, as the big auntie and rich auntie that I am, I don't want to be caught in such dilemma, you know. Yeah, we went to the same party last year and then maybe I tried to go to London to somewhere and I tried to wear that same outfit again. There's somebody else with match. So, Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uwe Mimo and I'm also known as Tatoma5 and also known as TMO5 Candle Co. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. So today's video is about an unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion, unpopular opinion, unpopular opinion. And I can foresee that a lot of you might disagree with me. And I'm going to try and tread softly because... I'm about to break the leg of a table of a very very popular table that we all know so according to the title of popular opinion Nigerian parties and takeaway foods should I should I be dodging for bottles that you guys have already started to throw are you playing what type of plane is this I this is playing why so unpopular opinion and it involves Nigerians and Nigerian parties and takeaway. So in the past few weeks, I have noticed some instances when it comes to African parties, Nigerian parties in general. So people go to Nigerian parties. I, for my, I, I'm going to speak for myself. I love parties. I when I when the chance comes for come, I try like I try my best to look my best. Mm -hmm. And we all know. African parties often come with like, you know, you buy a show a bit that is like family attire where you're all wearing matching outfits and These outfits don't come cheap at all. Mm? The cheapest, I think the cheapest I was given last year It and headgear and the attire itself was about 160 pounds and up until last year I used to buy this um, Matching outfit, but I made up my mind that this year I'm no longer gonna do that. Reason being that you buy you get this as should be your matching outfit, you wear it once, and you're not keen on wearing it again because you run the chance of wearing it somewhere and you and somebody might turn up at the same place with the same outfit again. So as the big auntie and rich auntie that I am, I don't want to be caught in such dilemma, you know. Yeah, we went to the same party last year and then maybe I tried to go to London to somewhere and I tried to wear that same outfit again. There's somebody else with match. So, no. So that's the reason why I've decided that I won't be buying a or anything like that again. But the main bone of contention is this, like, okay, as a celebrant, you invited people to your party, you've catered for food. Like, I know when it comes to Nigerian parties, food is a must there will be surplus of food but there have been times whereby i've been to parties or i've heard celebrants saying oh they received a call from their guests saying that oh they were not served food they did not get food blah 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 like you can imagine if you are a, a bride and people came to your wedding they bought a they graced your uh, um, they graced your occasion you know when you were dancing you know they were spraying you money they brought gifts for you and only for them to spend all of that time all of that effort coming to your party for them to leave because they were not served because they did not get something to eat maybe they only had something to drink but they were not fed they did not have food how would you feel you will be you will feel distraught right that's where i'm coming from so in the past there's in the past um I've seen, I've attended some events whereby before guests were even served, some people are already clamoring for takeaway food to take home. Like, seriously? Seriously. One thing is this I respect myself a lot and I want people to respect me. See, you might be the bones of my bones and you are hosting a party. You will never, ever catch me in the midst of people who are serving the food except maybe the celebrant specifically said wear me that mama five i want you to do this for me but you will never see me behind the coolers of food reason being that when it comes to people and food people come with all sort of at attitude all shades of attitude and the way i'm going to react towards the attitude they might not like it so I'm saying this because I was at an event and somebody came and wants to start taking food and I'm like, hold on, people are the guests who are here, they've not even finished serving, the tables are still being called, they've not been fed. Why are you looking to take away food? I'm sorry, you've not take away here. Go on, if the guests have all been served, hmm? 
and you all know Nigerian parties, there's always excess of food. I don't have an issue with people going with takeaway food. In fact, some even bring plastic bowls from their house. Yes, some people bring plastic bowls. If I if the shade I threw right now hits you, sorry, I'm in my house. Come and beat me. Come and beat me. People bring bowls from their house to take food from a party home. Like I said, I don't have an issue with people wanting to take food home from a party. But what I'm trying to pass across clearly here is that you're welcome to come to the party. You bought a shabby fine. You brought gift for the celebrant fine. When you come, be merry. Eat, fill yourself up. And if there are leftover food, if there are food left over, which obviously we will not be throwing away, then you are free to come take as much as you want. But I will not stand at a party where maybe I'm officiating or helping out. And people have, all the guests are yet to be served food. And you, you've already filled your tummy. Or while you are getting food for yourself, you are handing over a bowl. And they should put something for you. That bowl, I will fling it. I will fling it. And some people, you know, when you tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I can't fill that bowl yet. Maybe you should try and come back later when all the guests have been fed. That's what I said to someone the last time. And this person took it personal. And I was like, why are you taking it personal? And this person was like, eh, food is not a problem. I don't have an issue with food. Yeah, nobody's saying you have an issue with food. But I've just said to you politely that, um, I'm sorry, I can't fill that bowl you've just given to me. See, once all the guests have been served, you can come back later and check. Or maybe you should leave your bowl here. And if you check back later, we will fill it up for you. But not when people are being served food. You already have your own food in your hand and you're handing out a bowl. They should put some chicken out. No. And some people, other reason why I don't like standing where the food is being served is a fact that people who are sitting will be looking at you and they'll be thinking that you are you that you are serving the food you've already packed all the food for yourself like i don't know why people think that way i don't know why people feel that because you are helping out serving food they often look at you as if yes you are catering all the food they way to take home to your house like why do people think that way? Is it because you've already bought a shabby, uh, you know the steady brand or you know something? No, if respect is reciprocal and it's just whatever you give that you get. So, get nobody's not saying you should not eat at a party. Eat to stupor, drink to stupor, but don't come bringing bowl, asking for takeaway when other people are here to be fed at a party. Let us be respecting ourselves. This is very, very common amongst African I'm a Nigerian, so I'll speak for Nigerian. This is common in Nigerian parties, almost all Nigerian parties. I have been to high caliber occasions. Some people from those high caliber events that I've been to, some babulos or some affluent people, they don't like eating at events. Most of them, you will notice that they only just drink. People like that, I am happy to dish dishes pack it up and maybe give it to their driver or hand it over to them because i know that yes maybe and most people like that, that i've seen in affluent in events that i've been to they're either ministers of god like pastors or maybe people who are fasting they can't eat but i wouldn't know and in, in situations like that you see the celebrant comes at you as a so person do you mind you know dishing their meal they won't be able to eat or maybe you are at a party and for one reason or the other you have to leave and then you come ask for you know takeaway food i will blind like i will gladly pack takeaway for you but not when you are in the queue they are already serving you your own food and then you are passing bowl like i said i will fling away that bowl for you i mean guys what do you think do you think um this shade i'm throwing is wrong that you think people are entitled to like taking food home? i'm not saying they should not take food home but it's at the event allow people like let everywhere be like let everybody get served and we as we all know the nigerian party we always cater for our food and if there's leftover you are free to do as you wish but not like you know you are standing there you are giving me a bowl like i said i will throw your bowl away guys let me know your thoughts because i like i said this is an unpopular opinion it happens all the time and i don't think i've ever seen anybody come out to say oh that shouldn't be done that shouldn't be done it's just something that i've observed in fact somebody's actually taking it really really personal with me right now and i'm like i don't give a f what you think you know because this person is kind of like used to doing that and a few other people that i've seen are just like hey, you know well it's something we should really really talk about hmm? and why i'm actually talking about this is the fact that they actually took it personal and i'm like um i know you i'm the one who is telling you that this this it's not as if i'm an outsider to you so why are you taking it personal anyway i don't give you f like i said guys let me know what you think in the comment section do you think this norm is all right that yeah 
bring both from your house i won't take away even before all your guests have been served do you think it's it's all right or do you think no they should be coming down let's serve our guests first and if there's leftover i will give you something to take home anyway this is the end of my unpopular opinion if you think i make sense in this video let me know in the comment section and if you think i was talking mm, you don't quite agree with me let also know let me know in the comment section as well and if you've watched this till now and you're yet to subscribe or you're having a second thought what's your second thought about do me well to like this video turn on the post notification subscribe if you're yet to do so share this video as well let's get this rolling and i hope to catch up with you in my next video all right bye